Yeah, both of those men had absolutely nothing to say as they walked in today. Dennis Botticello, the owner of Botticello Incorporated, and his employee, Glenn Locke. They've both been charged with first-degree manslaughter connected to the death of their construction worker, Dennis Slater. These arrests coming today, but this incident dating back to July of last year. What's your message? Are you remorseful at all? 67 year old Dennis Botticello walked in the front door of the Vernon Police Department. How come you didn't use the trench box? And snuck out through the back door after he and 65 year old Glenn Locke posted bond. It wasn't just an accident. Uh, this could have been prevented. The pair is charged with first degree manslaughter in the death of 56 year old Dennis Slater, killed when the sides of a dirt trench collapsed on him at Laurel Woods Farms. And it wasn't the first time. The trench did fall in a couple times before that. A warrant shows Slater's text conversation with a friend asking how his day was. Not good, responded Slater. In a trench by myself today, trench collapsed twice. And when questioned by police why proper safety measures weren't used, Locke responded, I guess we play the odds. Unfortunately, the, uh, the odds were not in Mr. Slater's favor that day. The trench was about 120 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 8 feet deep. According to the federal investigators from OSHA, there were no indications that the sides of the trench had been sloped, benched, or any other trench safety measures had been instituted. That includes what is typically called a trench box, a metal insert meant to reinforce the dirt sides and keep it from collapsing. This hole was uh, nearly you know, quite, quite long, uh, and they failed to have any trench boxes. We were very careless in their, their actions, and somebody died as a result of this. And these arrests, of course, come after a lengthy investigation involving local, state, and federal officials, including OSHA. Both Botticello and Locke will be in court on Monday before a judge, with, of course, the main difference between murder and manslaughter being intense. We're live here in Vernon. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.